hello guys welcome to my channel my name is vivian if this is your first time of coming across my channel you are highly welcome today's video i want to show us the basic shirt measurement for sewing a baby girl's dress this is like a general shirt measurement for sewing a baby girl's dress but if the baby is on a shop side please go ahead and take the measurement for so here we have the three months six months we have here to 12 months so if you see between six and eight there is no seven inches and between 10 and 12 there is no um 11 inches as well this is because between those age gap there is no much difference and here we have the basic body measurement that we need we have the waist hip shoulder armhole we have shoulder to knee length shoulder to waist and we have the neck measurement we have neck width and neck depth so this is like a basic measurement like i said please help me like this video drop a comment and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so so before we get started we have already marked out the basic body measurement that we need so now we'll go ahead and input the chart so now the first measurement we're starting with is the waist measurement for three months we have 18 inches for six months we we'll have 19 inches for one year we'll have 19.5 okay for two years like you can see there we we'll have 20 inches for three years we we'll have 20.75 inches and for four years we we'll have 21.5 five years we we'll have 22.5 and six years we we'll have 23.5 and then it for eight years we have 25 inches so that means for seven years you can go ahead and use 24 inches or 24.5 and then again for 10 years we'll have 26 inches so for nine inches go ahead and use 25.5 and for 12 years we'll have 27 inches so guys this is basically the um standard waist measurement when making a baby girl's dress of these different age groups okay you can see all the points i have there so the next thing is the hip measurement we are going to be taking so for three months we have 19 inches for six months we have 20 inches for one year we have 21 inches and for two years 22 inches for three years we have 23 inches for four years we have 24 inches for five years we have 25 inches for six years we have 26 inches for eight years 28.5 for 10 years 31 inches and then for 12 years we have 33 inches so for nine years you can go ahead and use 30 inches or 31 inches as well and for 11 years we can use 32 inches or 33 inches as well so i just want to go ahead and put these symbols for inches so you understand that these measurements are measured in inches because some people measure in cm or millimeter but this is inches that we are measuring on okay so you can see all the measurements already already taken okay so now that's basically all so for the next measurement is shoulder measurement okay so for three months we have a shoulder measurement of eight inches for six months we have 8.25 for 12 months, we have 8.5. For two years, we have 8.75. For three years, we have 9 inches. Four years, we have 9.5. Five years, we have 10. Um, six years, we have 10.5. Eight years, we have 11. Ten, we have 11.5. And then, um, for 12 years, okay, for 12 years here, yeah, we have 12 inches. Then for these 12 years, you can go ahead and use um 12.5 or 12.25 as well, okay, for the shoulder. So that's all for the shoulder measurements, okay. So the next measurement to be taking is armhole measurements. Now for armhole measurement of 3 months, we have 3.25. For 6 months, we have 3.5. For 12 months, that is 1 year, we have 3.75 for two years we have four inches three years 4.25 four years we have 4.5 five years 4.75 six years 5.0 four, 
for eight years we'll have 5.5 for 10 years we'll have six and 12 years we'll have 6.5 inches so guys if you look here i just added one more point here which is the chest measurement okay and that is very very important i forgot to add it before so now the next is shoulder to knee measurement s is shoulder and the other one is knee shoulder to knee for three months we'll have 12 inches for six months we'll have 12 inches as well for one year we'll have 16 inches for two years we'll have 22 inches for three years we'll have 22.5 four years we'll have 26 inches five years we'll have 28 inches for six years we'll have 32 inches for eight years 34 10 years 36 and 12 years we'll have 38 inches and this is all the measurement for shoulder to knee measurement okay and you can see everything just follow everything this is a general chart for taking measurements for baby girls okay for those producing already made so next is shoulder to waist measurement this is shoulder to waist measurement or you can call it back to waist measurement so for three months we have 6.5 six months we have seven inches 12 months that is one year we have 7.5 two years we have eight three years we have 8.75 for four years we have 9.5 five years we have 10.5 six years we have 11.5 eight years 12.5 10 years 13.5 and then 12 years will have 14.5 inches okay so the next measurement is the neck measurement you know we have the neck width and we have the neck depth so for three months neck width we have 1.5 and depth 2.5 um two inches sorry for six months we have 1.5 as well then two inches 12 months 1.75 then two inches for two years okay we'll have two inches and then we'll have 2.5 for three years now we we'll have two inch two and one quarter and then two and one quarter as well okay so for four years we we'll have 2.5 inches as the neck width and then um we we'll have a uh, three and three quarter okay two and three quarter sorry for the neck depth okay then for five years we'll have two and a half inch for neck width that's two and one over two that's two and a half and then for neck depth we'll have two and three quarter as well for six years 2.5 for neck width and two and three quarter for neck depth so for eight years we'll have 2.5 as well and two and three quarter as well for 10 years we'll have 2.5 and then we'll have two and three quarters as well. Then for 12 years, we'll have 2.5 for neck width and then three inches for neck depth. So for this neck width and neck depth, there is no much difference. It's just like a general neck width and neck depth for adults that will have three over three for most of the neck measurements. Okay, that's the same thing for babies. So the next measurement to be taken is the chest or bust measurement. So for three months, we we'll have 18 inches. For six months, we'll have 19 inches. For 12 months, that is one year, we'll have 20 inches. For two years, we'll have 21 inches. For three years, we'll have 22 inches. For four years, we'll have 23 inches. For five years, we'll have 24 inches. For six years, we'll have 25 inches. For eight years, we'll have 27 inches. So between 27 inches, we can use 26 inches. So for 10 years, we'll have 29 inches and then 12 years, we'll have 31 inches. So for 11 years, you can use 30 inches or 31. So guys, that's basically all for the measurements. And this is a general measurement if you are producing already made dress for baby girls. Okay, let me shift so you can, so you can see it very well. So this is the basic standard measurement for baby girls when producing already made. Thank you for watching. Help me like my video and drop a comment. See you next time when I post another video. Thank you. Bye.